Tech Cocktail, delivering happiness at South by Southwest. I'm really excited to be joined by the CEO and founder, co-founder of yep. Stumble Upon, yep. Garrett Camp. Thank you so much for joining us Thanks here on the me. Delivering Happiness bus. Yeah, I've been here several times, many times. In the welcome past. back, welcome back. Yep. So, can you just share with everyone what you know, what what Stumble Upon is, and, you know, quick, yep. quick tidbit, and then what you do with with that company every day? Um, so Stumble Upon is basically a discovery engine. Um, so basically, we're trying to show people really interesting stuff on the internet that they hadn't. Uh, they wouldn't actually think to search for. So basically, you sign up, you kind of say a little bit of what you like, what topics you're interested in, and then every time you click the stone button, you're gonna find a new cool page that's kind of matched your interests that you probably wouldn't have thought to search for. So it's really great for discovering cool photography, cool videos, cool music, uh, and every time you click the button, you could either give it a thumb up or a thumb down, and it just keeps getting better and better over time. The thing that inspires me about Stone Pond is uh, I really like working on a product that uh, continually surprises me. You know, people say a lot with uh, Stone Pond, there's serendipity in it, there's a, Kind of that's part of the experience. I like the idea that you know I'm working on a product that I personally use a lot and that I really enjoy, and I use it a lot instead of something like Twitter or Facebook, where it's not just what my friends are doing. It's not just you know kind of what people I I, I kind of know are kind of promoting. It's things that are actually personally relevant to me. So uh, I think I really like working on a product that uh, I personally am addicted to. <laughs> I've always said that I want someone to be halfway between Google and Apple in terms of what it's like as a company in terms of design and product and stuff. So. Uh, See, I think those those two companies are, are ones I strive to emulate. Well, we have three pieces of news, um, and those are probably what I'm most excited about. Uh, first, we ju uh, just raised funding. We just raised $17 million from our existing investors, Excel, August, uh, Sherpa Lowe, and our new lead DAG. So that's great. Now we have much more resources to kind of hire new engineers and, and build more products. Uh, the second cool thing is just 10 minutes ago, our new iPhone app came out. So we actually have now a social version of our iPhone app that... Uh, it basically stumbles, lets you stumble through just your friend's favorites. And if you get to one of your friends and you like what you see, you can stumble just their favorites. So you can now explore two different social vectors as you're stumbling instead of just kind of a more random. I kind of like the microfinance stuff. I haven't, I don't know a lot about it, honestly. Um, I've just kind of introduced it recently through, you know, Kiva and things like that. But um, I think that's a very interesting, you know, some source Kiva, companies like that. The fact they can use some of these kind of collaborative models and stuff to, to actually have an impact in third world countries and not just to you know, kind of people have money to buy gadgets. I think in the early days of Stumble, I was really, uh, went a little bit too slow. Like we, for the first four years, we kind of just very slowly worked on the site and we didn't, we didn't like hire anyone, we didn't raise any money. We just kind of kept it as a project. And even though that was kind of good that we didn't have pressure to, you know, do anything, we didn't have any investors, we definitely kind of went very, very slowly. And sometimes I kind of wonder if we would have decided to, you know, kick it into gear a couple years earlier, you know, after two years instead of four years, I wonder how much bigger we would have been. But, um, so I guess maybe, I, yeah. I would have started a little earlier. One piece of advice I've given several times is um, just don't raise too much money. Um, I was self-funded for four years. Me and my co-founder just kind of built it based on, you know, our bank savings. I had a scholarship, and we were very lean. And I think that taught us to be kind of efficient and prioritize and not be kind of wasteful. Um, and then even when we did raise money, we only raised 1.2 million to start. So we had like six years of development on 1.2 million dollars. Maybe, maybe 1.5 if you include the first few years. Um, and that forced us to be really efficient and develop a good product before we actually kind of went and, and raised more. So now we're raising more once we actually have the product and we're really raising to scale it. I think the biggest change we're gonna make with the new funding is just a lot more platforms, hire a lot more engineers. Um, you know, we feel like the Snowplan experience could be brought to you know, smartphones, it could be brought, well not just smartphones, but like um, set-top boxes, it could be brought to tablets. We're gonna re-release our iPad app soon. Um, we think we could have it be for shopping, it could be for place discovery. I mean, there's so many different things you could take and leverage your stumble profile to personalize your experience in that, in that context.